Okay, cool guys, so I just want to talk a bit about how I'm learning things, my learning techniques, my learning style, uh, what's working for me right now and what hasn't been working for me very much. Uh, obviously through my degree, uh, I learned Japanese and now the TEFL course on top of that. Things that have kind of worked for me and kind of what hasn't worked for me. And uh, let's start with the TEFL course. Yeah, I've only been doing it a, f a few days. Uh, I signed up for it on Friday the 13th of all days and I'm not sure what date I've uploaded this on but yeah it's only, it only hasn't been too long since I started it but I've gone through a couple of modules and um, um, basically what I do is you, I'm usually sat right here when I'm doing uh, my studying whatever is Japanese or the travel course or wherever uh, obviously I do a lot of time doing my degree when I was there or up in the library um, basically with the travel course I'm pretty much doing exactly what I was doing in university I would go through the, co the course material go through the the power punch the, the essays or whatever learn what I need to learn and then make notes um, so I would with this I would go to the website worldtesselacademy.com I put it in the link some in the description somewhere the link and go to the next part of what I'm learning and read through that a little bit and um, through a second time of reading it I'll read through it and then as I'm going through it the second time I'll be making notes and uh, that se seems to help because normally I'm, I'm reading it once but in that within with a lot of depth I guess I'm really concentrated on trying to take in what I'm reading and the second time I'm, go I'm going over it again and uh, making notes so it's taking it even further and literally it's going in my brain and coming out another way so it's c kind of doing a 360 type of things coming in my eyes and out of my hands and that apparently helps with studying um, so yeah that's how I'm doing that uh, making notes and then I got a notepad then with uh, all my notes in and then carry on wherever I just chuck it in my bag so if I'm going to work and I'm going to study on lunch break I can be sat, sat in the toilet or go for, go for coffee in town or the library or whatever and I can have a notepad there and go through all my notes when it comes to doing the final assessment at the end I'm pretty, I should be pretty clued up because with everything in this one potentially two notepads um, uh, we'll see how far we get in the notepads as I'm going. So it's pretty basic stuff, but it's, that's what I'm doing at the moment. It seems to work for me. Uh, I just need to be consistent, which is where I've, uh, no matter what I've studied, that's where I've, I've kind of fought, been falling down is with the university, with, with especially with Japanese, being consistent. I'll do it really well for a couple of months and then I'll kind of fall off uh, a cliff a little bit and kind of lose motivation. I get frustrated or whatever, fall off a cliff. Now it's, I don't have my degree, it's not so important, well it's important to me to have this TEFL course in Japanese obviously, but the degree, I, I put a lot more pressure on myself to do well at it and I think that didn't help, where if I just relaxed and stayed consistent and stayed working hard as hard as I potentially could, I would have done better at it, I ended up with a 2-2 where if I'd have been more relaxed, less pressure on myself, just study, just do what I know what works for me, I'd have got something higher and uh, this is the same with the TEFL course and with the Japanese, I need to be consistent and do what works for me and find what works for me a little bit more, especially with the Japanese, which I'll come on to next. Um, so, um, uh, if you'd seen the ja the Japanese video I done fairly recently, a video or two ago, um, where I was literally going through vocabulary rep repetition for, for voca to me help me memorize vocabulary, I would write it out in f five lines of unwritten words. So I'd have one word, and I write, would write five lines of it, and then move on to the next one. Five, write five lines, and that one, move on to the next one. Five lines, five lines, five lines. And I found that so time consuming, so boring, my handwriting is terrible, so when I went back to it, I was like, what the hell does that say? So I needed to do something different, um, something less boring, something that's going to be more efficient, something I know what I'm going to be able to read. And what I've done there is started using Word to do the repetition instead. I'll be typing it out 
on my computer rather than handwriting it on a notepad. So I'll open, I'll open a Word document and I'll just I'll type a whole page of one word. So I'll be doing it a couple of hundred times rather than a couple of lines of it, maybe 15, 20 times at most, um, depending on the like how long the word is. So it's definitely more efficient. It's definitely helped me get words in my head a little bit more. The words I've, I've written out already. I, I yeah, I'm going back over them, but the words I've, I've done so far on the word, I'm not literally they're in my head. I'm not. I've, I've remembered them because I've done repetition so often of them. I've, I've written it so many times in one go that it's stuck in my head. Okay, this is Toshi. This is fun. Uh, and okay, and then this is the next word. It's uh, this is busy. It's it, it's Sukashi. Uh, and and so on and they just think all the words just kind of stick in my head when I, I'll do a, 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 literally an A4 page worth of each word in the clip I've, I think I've shown you or, or will be shown you here I'm literally, I, I, I've only done like five lines but I've, I've obviously changed that now when I've done the five lines of typing that didn't work for me as well so and I've gone to a whole page of one word so and that's work, helping me that's giving me everything I need and I can still refer to my notepads I mean I've got a book here I've shown in the, the main one of lists of this is the adjectives notepad I've got one for nouns, got one for verbs, I've got a kanji book and one for grammar and so on as well so I can just uh, do the same for them repetition, repetition, repetition and practice put them in and then when I feel like I know enough vocabulary it'll be sentence structure, write, writing things down, speaking things, um, potentially uh, if, if, I, if I get to that level, which I, I should do, if I can stick, stick at it this time and be consistent and do the things that work for me, is hiring a tutor again. I've had a couple of tutors before where I didn't really make best use, best use of them. Um, uh, with they were giving me homework things to do or things to learn in between lessons and I wasn't really focused on doing the stuff in between lessons so I didn't really benefit from them very, uh, as much as I should have so it would eventually be um, hiring a tutor eventually or or finding someone to, to have conversations with and literally use the words I'm using to have conversations with people and send a structure and have them correct me when I'm making mistakes whether it's in pronunciation or send a structure or using the wrong word or whatever correcting me on this type of stuff so that's why I, I want to be um, that's my plan for Japanese anyway so I'll stop there now guys because I'm I, I, otherwise I'll blab on a little bit but uh, what I'm going to ask of you guys if you don't mind get in the comments guys and let me know how you study a, a language or have a course if you've done either one of them with Japanese I mean how do you memorize your words do you do repetition do you just go straight into sentence structure make they put them in context what do you do do you have a lesson do you, is it are you happy doing flashcards and uh, apps that do like Anki and so on or Duolingo how do you do it get in the comments and let me know guys how, how do you do it and the same with TEFL how do you do your TEFL stuff do you do it like me do you read off of your the, the website make a note of it and review your notes and uh, and do what I do with the TEFL course. I mean, has the TEFL course helped you? Have you are you now teaching English, or have you taught English now because you've had a TEFL course? What are your experiences? In that L let me know in the comments, guys. I'm really interested in knowing this stuff or what you guys have experienced, good, good or bad, guys. Do let me know in the comments what you think. And obviously, if you have enjoyed this little video hit the like button and let me know if you liked it and if you want to see more content from me obviously hit subscribe button the notification bell and we can send you some more videos when they are good and ready for you guys so thanks for watching today guys like comment subscribe and share with all your friends and i'll see you very soon cheers for watching